Optifine. It's the most popular Minecraft mod out there, but it's still back on 1.20.1. Since then, we've had 1.20.2, 1.20.3, and even Minecraft 1.20.4 come out. That causes some issues. It adds in shaders, it adds in performance increases and, and benefits, and it really and truly is a mod that a lot of people need. And I get that it not being out yet is quite annoying. I mean, it was last updated in July. So what do we do? Well, we have to break down. We want to help you as much as possible. And so we launched this. Not a fine. It is a fabric-based mod pack available both on CurseForge and on ModRenth that allows you to get pretty much all of the main and primary Optifine features in Minecraft 1.20.4 without Optifine. As I said, this is available for download right now on both the CurseForge and the ModRenth app. And let me just go ahead and show you what it looks like. Now, don't worry, I'm going to be giving you a lot of these alternatives individually as mods as well. But truthfully, coming to the ModRenth app, which you can download, by the way, Notifines linked on both CurseForge and ModRenth down below. As far as ModRenth goes, you can click the Get ModRenth app up here and download the ModRenth app. And then once you're in the ModRenth app, just uh, come to the home page here. Click search on the left-hand side and search for not a fine. N-O-T-I, fine, not a fine. And then once you're here, go ahead and click on it and click install. Then we'll begin installing for Minecraft 1.20.4. As far as CurseForge goes, you can get the CurseForge app by coming here, clicking get CurseForge app in the top right, downloading it standalone, installing it just like you would any other app. And then of course, once you're in the app, you will click on Minecraft here, search up here at the top for not a fine, right like so, and then click the install button and it will begin installing. From there, you can play it by clicking the play button in CurseForge or the play button in Modernth. It really just depends. Play right there on CurseForge. And then in Modernth, if we go back to the home page here, we can click the play button there to play it. So this is what it looks like. And again, if you want to install these individually using the Fabric Mod Loader, you can do that. I'm going to be running through some of the mods that are in this pack, and you can install all of them are linked down below that we're going to be going over individually. So you can get shaders, you can get performance increases, and all of that stuff. But we have set up this mod pack to have all of that out of the box. That way you don't have to worry about it. When you first log in, you have to decide if you want the narrator or not, and then click continue. From there... It's kind of just like normal Minecraft, but there are a few settings that you can change and I want to run through. But first, let me just show you what this looks like in game. And we can do this on this simple game hosting server, which is our company and the sponsor of this video. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash SGH. Start your very own Minecraft server using simple game hosting. The best part about simple game hosting is it makes hosting a Minecraft server simple. You can easily add mods, mod packs, and plugins. And we support hundreds of mod packs with one click installation, including not a fine, which actually doesn't require you to do anything server side. You can join any server with it. On top of that, there's expert live chat support to help you out. So stop struggling to host a Minecraft server and host your server the simple way at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown.xyz slash SGH. Now, here we are on this server. And what's cool is nothing's done on this server. This is a vanilla server at Simple Game Hosting, basically meaning that there's no mods or anything on the server, yet we were able to join it. When you first join or load up the not to find pack, this is what it will look like. It's going to have a shaders pack, complimentary shaders already installed, and generally it's performing decently well. As you can see, we're maxed at 60 FPS there. But if we go into our video settings and we actually turn the max frame rate all the way up and we turn VSync off, we'll be able to see that on my computer, I can get 200 plus FPS. And if we switch our shader pack real quick by going to video settings and then shaders packs, we have three built in by default. If we switch up to makeup ultra fast shaders, it's incredible. Look at this. We can get over 300 FPS up here in the top left with this mod pack and shaders installed. There are other settings that are worth playing with really fast. I'm not going to go super in-depth with them, but it is worth clicking around. Turning down your render distance, your you know simulation distance can really boost performance. You can also turn your render distance up if you would like, up to you. Also coming into the quality settings, turning these down or increasing them can be a great way to, you know, turning them to fast if you want more FPS, fancy if you want less can be a great way to do that. You can also come in here and change your smooth lighting, turn it off. Minimize your particles by going to minimal, as well as turning things like weather to fast and leaves to fast. Again, these are all things you don't have to do, but there are things that you can do if you want. Now, with that being said, clicking around these settings and making sure all the performance options are enabled and even turning off all of the particles can help boost performance. But nevertheless, I don't really need that. So let's go ahead and look at the one more feature I want to show you about the not defined pack. And that is this. If you come in here and you enable all of these, and yes, some of them you do have to confirm that they are for an older version, you can come in and actually get a lot more usage out of this. There's also Fulbright if you 
do want Fulbright, it will give you an error when you enable it. If you do this and then click done, it will say that the following resource pack may not be compatible. It is compatible. We made sure of it. But nevertheless, as you can see here, this adds in grass going over the side of textures and things like that when you activate those resource packs. And yes, this will work with other resource packs. You can add resource packs to this. You can add mods to this. And that is perfectly okay to do. So just know that going in, you can kind of use this as a performance base to add more fabric mods and improve it. But what mods are in this? Well, there's a lot of them, but I'm going to go over the, some of the basic ones that allow you to get things like, uh, you know, parity with Optifine, including things like zoom, which uh, you can actually do a lot faster than this. You just have to come in here and set the uh, the zoom key in your keybinds. If we come down here, we can see Zoomify is currently set to C. If we set that to H, for example, we can actually zoom uh, a lot faster than uh, what I just did. You can zoom in right like so. So boom, that allows you to uh, use Optifine zoom even. Like I said, we, try, we tried for as much feature parity as possible. But first, let's take a look at the mods that are in here and uh, how you can, you know, get them, install them locally, all of that stuff if you would like to do that. So first things first, this is all based on Fabric. Fabric is a mod loader similar to Forge, but generally more efficient and it is where all of the mods, you can see them all up here at the top, it's kind of crazy, are basically hosted. If you wanted to set this up yourself and download all these mods individually, you could, but I'm going to be focusing on getting shaders and sodium in this video because that's what's going to give you the shaders and the best performance boost. You can take it a lot farther, generally. If you install everything like we have with the Not a Fine Pack, you will actually be able to get a much better FPS. Usually, I can go from about 150 to 200, 300 FPS, so it can be double, but at the end of the day, this will get you started with shaders and sodium. So, in order to do that, there's two ways. When you can install Fabric, which is the way that you're going to want to go if you want to install everything. That's why I'm going to go here. There is also, with the Irish Shaders mod, which is how we're going to be getting Optifine style shaders, that you can get the installer, the universal jar here. If you do that, that is going to allow you to install sodium and shaders with just one installer instead of having to use Fabric, but we're going to go ahead and use Fabric. Obviously, all of this is linked in the description down below. If I go through downloading into the, everything individually, it would take forever, but we do have the Fabric installer there downloaded. I'm going to use the Universal Jar here. You may need to get Java 17 or the Jar Fix. Those are linked down below if you decide to go with the manual install route and install Fabric. Now, as far as shaders go, we are going to be using Iris shaders, as I mentioned, and you want to make sure that you come to Alternative Downloads and go to ModRenth. Once you're here, click on Versions, and you want to find the 1.20.4 version. Let's go ahead and click the green download there. Now, you'll also need a shader pack of some sort, and we have a link in the description down below to all of these amazing shaders packs. I'll go ahead and grab BSL shaders. It's one of my favorites, and it's actually not included in the Notifying pack. If we go into BSL shaders here, we can go to download, and we will use Modernth for that, just because I've become a fan of Modernth recently. It links us to the most recent version there, so we can go ahead and click download. Last but not least, we will need sodium. Sodium is not only required for ours, but it's what gives us the performance boost that we can kind of expect out of Optifine. So come here and click download. And then again, this is on modern. So if we go to versions, we can download the 1.20.4 version. Now there are other mods. There is Indium, which is actually not quite updated, but will give you a lot more performance boost. As soon as it is, we will update it on the Notifine pack, but it is worth noting here. And once it is 1.20.4 compatible, it is worth installing. There's things like No Fog, Lamb Dynamic Lights, Sodium Extras. This is one that you can download and get a pretty big boost out of sodium. So we'll actually go ahead and add that as well. The continuity is actually what's going to allow you to connect textures in Minecraft and allow you to have Optifine style connected textures in game. The entity texture features allows you to use Optifine entity textures from resource packs. And there is so much more. Fabric Kotlin's a requirement as is yet another conflict lib for Zoomify, which allows you to zoom in and actually see and use Optifine style zoom. And then last but not least, we do have Optifine cape support as well, which is right here. There are other mods and other resource packs and things like that, but this is just kind of the general overview that gets you a lot of feature parity, similar to what we have in the Notifying pack. If you were to download and install all of these, it's going to take a long time, but we have a few of the main ones that you need already downloaded. Those are going to be in the downloads folder here. As you can see, we have the shaders pack. We've also got Iris. We've got sodium and sodium extras. I'm going to move all these to our desktop here. So let's go ahead and first start off by installing Fabric though, because that's the mod loader that's gonna run all of this. To do that, go ahead and right click on this Fabric installer, click on Open With, click Java and click OK. If you don't have Java, there is links in the description down below on how to get Java in order to be able to open it with this. 
Nevertheless, once you've done that, it's going to open up the Fabric Installer. Go ahead and make sure 1.20.4 is selected and click Install. The only reason this wouldn't work is if Minecraft or the Minecraft Launcher are open, or if you've never played Minecraft 1.20.4 before, which is quite possible. If you're so used to playing with Optifine and you only play with Optifine, go play Minecraft without Optifine. Just launch it to the main menu. That's all you've got to do on Minecraft 1.20.4, then Fabric will install. Click OK, we can close out of the Fabric Installer and delete it. Let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft Launcher. As tempting as it is with this Fabric Loader installation here, do not click Play. Instead, go to Installations. Now, if Fabric is showing here, awesome. If it's not, make sure Mod is checked in the top right. And if you've got the Fabric Loader, skip forward in the video a little bit. Do not play Minecraft, but skip forward about 20 to 30 seconds in the video. But if for whatever reason you don't have Fabric 1.20.4 here, click New Installation. You can name it whatever you want, but I'm of course naming it SimpleGameHosting.com because that's the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends. Then click the version drop-down box. Here you'll have Release Fabric Loader 1.20.4. Go ahead and click on that and you're good. You've selected the version there and that's all we need to do. Click Create. Now, hello everyone who already had Fabric installed. What you'll want to do to install your mods is find the Fabric Loader installation, either the one we created or the one that's never default, and click on the folder icon. That'll open up your Minecraft folder, and in here you should have a mods folder. But if you don't, like I don't have one right now, what we want to do is go ahead and click on right here, just right click, create a new folder, and title this mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Now what we want to do is move Iris, Sodium, and Sodium Extra, if you got that, or any of the other Minecraft mods you downloaded, into this mods folder. One thing worth noting here, Minecraft mods will be a .jar. If you get something that's a .zip, it won't work. And if you can't see .jar on the end, just come up here to view and then click file name extensions, right like so. As you can see, once we check that, that .jar appears. Very helpful when working with Minecraft files because you want to make sure you're getting the correct file type. Nevertheless, you can install shader packs from here as well. As you can see, we have a shader packs folder. But if we don't have a shader packs folder for whatever reason, we can go ahead and right click, create a new folder, and title it shader packs. All one word exactly like that with that exact spelling. It has to be exactly like this. And then you can move your shader pack in here and it will be installed once you get in game. You can also wait and just install it in game by dragging it into the shaders menu. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and now launch Minecraft using our fabric installation. And once we're in game, we'll actually be able to see that we have not all of the features of Notify, but some of the features specifically will have a performance boost with Sodium and we will have Iris shaders installed, allowing us to use shaders like BSL shaders that we installed in Minecraft. So this shows you why using Notify is so important. I've got the Fabric API, which is a very rookie mistake, but I will go ahead and grab that really fast. Of course, we have a guide on it. It is linked in the description down below and it is here. When you click that, it will come here and click on download Fabric API, click on files and download the 1.20 four version with the three dots there. Sorry for forgetting that. I will make sure that is linked under the fabric mod loader. That way everybody knows that you need this as well as fabric. Get exit code one there. But again, super easy. Same process. We just want to come up here, open our fabric loader and move the fabric API here into the mods folder right like so. Now, when we go ahead and click play, this time it'll work, right? This time it's going to launch Minecraft with Sodium Extra. Sodium Extra is actually what needed the Fabric API, which is uh, one of the reasons that I forgot about that, but still it's not an excuse per se. Should have known that. Um, my apologies, but it is in the description. There we go. Minecraft is now open. If we go into Options, Video Settings, we can see this is what Sodium looks like by default. And you can actually see how much changed from the Notifying Pack. If we go into Shaders, BSL is there. We can click on that and click Apply. And there are a ton of different settings, like I said, that you can change in here to really boost things, boost performance, turning down render distance, for example, turning it up, turning down down simulation distance, as well as different quality and performance settings that you can change. But overall, we're going to go ahead and just launch right on into Minecraft with this and just show you what this looks like. We use the same server we did before, which is this simple game hosting server here. And then once we're in game, we will be able to see what our FPS difference is. Um, I expect generally a lower FPS with just Sodium and Iris versus all the other settings and things that are set up, but still, we'll see what happens. I went ahead, did a little jump cut there to make sure that FPS counter was enabled in the top left up here. And you can see what that is doing. Let's double check that we are not limiting our FPS, which we are not. And uh, yeah, that's what you can expect, right? It's kind of crazy how big of a difference that the uh, Notifying pack can have, for example, on performance versus just installing Iris with the Shaders pack and Sodium and Sodium Extra. So crazy stuff there, and we're checking out if uh, you want to get the most performance while still using Shaders. And if you turn Shaders off, FPS goes through the roof. So tons and tons of customizability there as to what you can do to tweak performance to get it as good as possible. Let me know what you think about the Notifying pack in the description down below, as well as these Optifine 1.20.4 alternatives. Be sure to subscribe for more incredible Minecraft videos every single day of the week, and we will see you in the next one. I am out. Peace.